Hi, my name is Elizabeth and today we're going to try a new crock pot recipe. Um, I usually make spaghetti just on the stove and so today we're going to try it in the slow cooker and see how it turns out. Okay, I put a little oil in the bottom of the pan so it doesn't stick. We've got um, petite diced tomatoes, garlic and olive oil. Do two cans of those. A can of traditional pasta sauce. And a can of just regular tomato sauce. I made tacos the other night and saved a pound of the ground beef aside. one pound of cooked ground beef. A pound of Italian sausage ground. Diced onions. I made a bunch. I think there's about three onions worth and then six chopped green peppers. And go ahead and forgot my spoon. All right. I'm gonna give that a little stir. Season it a little bit. If you have Italian seasoning, you can add that. I'm out. I'm just going to do some garlic and basil. I'm also out of oregano, so we're going to do without that, but oregano goes great in spaghetti sauce. Parsley. I'm just making the best out of what you got. Onion powder, if you like onions, or if you don't like onions, you can change the amount that you add. Um, really, We really like onions and green peppers, so we did a bunch. Plus, I wanted to make sure I bought the, those green peppers about a week ago, and I didn't want them to go bad, so I thought today would be a good day to use them up. A little bit of red pepper. And some bay leaves, a couple of the members of my family have been complaining about tummy aches and I'm not exactly sure what's causing it. I don't know if it's a viral thing or what, but I heard that, I think my husband was telling me the other day that bay leaves are really good for your stomach. So um, I did seven in there. It's always good to count how many because you're not supposed to keep them in there because you're not supposed to eat them. But cook in there and get all the goodness out of them. Oh, that sounds like it broke. Okay. And we're going to put the lid on and turn it to low and then we'll come back and see how it looks. Okay, we're back. Okay, so. That 
after about six and a half hours, I added a jar of the garden um, style pasta and turned it to warm while I boiled noodles and grated some fresh garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and add that now. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it stuck to the plate. Let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna mix that up. That was um, almost a whole head of fresh garlic. Two of the cloves didn't look that great, um, so I didn't add those in. And I add that last, so the longer you cook garlic, um, the less of like the, the medicine properties of it, all the antibiotics and stuff. Um, the less of that you'll have the longer you cook it. So I like to add that last. And then we'll get some cheese. So got noodles um after I just did the rotoni and made it al dente once it was ready I added about two tablespoons of butter to it just so they wouldn't stick and now I'll scoop some of this when we we're coming home from uh picking the kids up from school as we were walking upstairs uh, my daughter's like what's that smell she's like is that coming from our apartment so it was nice it did it makes the whole house smell good and even to the hallway Oh, I took I took the bay leaves out when I turned off the crock pot. And I just used some uh, like a pizza blend cheese. That's one of my favorite dinners. And this sauce is gonna be good for, I'd say probably at least three meals and that's even for a big family because you're adding other foods to make it stretch like that flatbread recipe that I did a video on. That goes great with this sauce. And then I got some jumbo shells. We're gonna make stuffed shells and cheese I think for with the leftovers maybe tonight or tomorrow but or tomorrow or the day after but um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video it's super easy and it tastes great